good morning car people of this world welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video per usual we are on our way to a car show i don't know why my lunchbox is still out here i'll have to put that away and my water bottle what do you know we are on our way to another car show first i gotta move the honda odyssey and today we're gonna be talking about the five reasons why i hate my lexus ls 460. We're gonna get a cold start going on the LS here very shortly, but first I have to apologize for the lack of content I have been creating because it's been like a month since I uploaded my last video. Now, with that being said, I'm trying to film around when I can on Sundays as of today. Just have some fun cruising around, hanging out with some friends and making some content. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. We do have a couple big videos coming up in the near future. Uh, hopefully they should pan out to be well. But as for now, let's get this cold start going on the LS. Does not get old, baby. All right, so I can't even believe how nice it is out today. Couldn't be any better. And before we get into this list, we're going to head over to this car show. Now, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. This had to have been the hardest list I have ever created. And to be honest with you, I still don't even have five things as I'm saying this right now. I only have three. Um, I just can't think of anything that I really don't like about this car, except for two things in particular that we'll go over in a second. But this is such a good car, and I wanna put that out there in the very beginning because I know I have a lot of people out there who watch these videos who do have LS460s as well, and I just can't say enough good about this car, but for the sake of the video and some content, here are the five reasons I don't like this car. <laughs> oh man. All right, just pull up to the show here and I have to say, I feel a little bit left out. This is literally totally all Acuras. I'm parked up way off in the distance, but we have my boy Kyle here, the one who invited us out. This is his Acura Type S right here. You gotta show us around, dude, cause he's recently done quite a bit to it, including installing a Starlight Headliner by himself, which is pretty impressive, yo. You wanna show it off. Check this out. Literally did that himself. This was your first attempt, correct? Yep. That is insane. I've always been, like wanted a Starlight Headliner, but I've always too scared to pull it down because I don't think I'm gonna be able to like get my headliner back up. That's what I was worried about too. Yeah, but you got it all back up and good, and it looks absolutely incredible. That is awesome. And then you also just recently got some new wheels here as yep. well. These yeah, are, back. what are these again? Uh, Ray Graham lights. Okay. Yep. They look absolutely awesome. The Acura Type S is, as Kyle was telling me, they all came with Brembos. Yes, which looks so good with these wheels. That is for sure. This thing is looking incredible. Definitely out of place. Some of these are quite cool. I know this one right here is actually pro-charged. See the intercooler hanging out all the way up from New York. Very nice, something other than Acura. It smells like 85. We just left the show and now we are on the hunt for battleships. Apparently there's some battleships around here to uh, take some cool pictures with. Uh, I don't know where I'm going, but hopefully we can find some uh, cool picture spot. Check this out. Safe to say, I think we are at the right spot. Look at that, that is sick. Let's see if uh, maybe we can get closer or something. Dang, what a cool shot that is. That looks awesome, very cool. Well, while we're here, there's really no place better than with this massive ship in the background to start off with the number one thing that I don't like about my Lexus LS460. We're gonna be jumping into the interior. That is gonna be because the seats, well, the leather over time really starts breaking down. You can see right here, I've got all these crazy rips. It's like dry rotted out. And this one is the absolute worst. I need to get this reupholstered so bad. And if we come to the back seat here, 
it's even cracking back here as well. Like nobody even uses this seat. So yeah, that is my number one dislike about my Lexus LS 460. And while we're here on the interior is gonna bring me to part number two or item number two that I don't like about my Lexus LS 460. Now actually one of you guys told me about a year ago that this was a recall on these cars. That would be the fact that in the summer, when this gets hot, this gets disgustingly sticky. And down here, your knee will like stick to this. And I mean, as you can see, this is cracking in here as well. So I'd love to get all this redone. Unfortunately, I missed the recall, but that is part number two. Why do I keep saying part? That's item number two that I don't like about the LS 460. And hopping outside here where we are amongst the yachts and the bigger yachts, well, Things are like freaking cruise ships. This brings us to the third reason why I do not like my LS 460. That is because this boat drains oil like nobody's business. It just burns oil like faster than gas. Probably about a quart every 500 miles. Now I have gotten this checked out before. The mechanics from multiple different places have told me that it just comes with the age of the car. I'm gonna need to get a new engine if I really want to cure this problem. So it burns oil like you do not even want to know. And it's not like there's an oil leak. We've checked for oil leaks. It just burns it. I especially think with this custom exhaust I have set up, I mean, of course I drive it a little bit harder than I think it should, but you know, I gotta have fun with it and I absolutely love this car, but it does burn oil and it's, uh, it's a little bit frustrating to have to keep topping it off. Obviously we got a new day here. It is no longer sunny and warm, but cloudy and literally like 50 degrees. I don't know what's going on here in Jersey, but the weather is not uh, how it should be by any means. The fourth reason I don't like my LS460, and this one's gonna be very controversial, I'll tell you right now, is I can't say I'm the biggest fan of the front end. Now it really depends on which angle you're looking at it, because right here, it looks nice, it looks like mean, it looks sleek, but if you take a look at it from the front, it looks way too kind. It looks way, way too kind. From here, it looks really mean, it looks aggressive. Here, not so much, it looks like it's smiling at you. And especially with what I have going on here at the back end, it just looks so incredibly aggressive in the back. The front end just doesn't match it at all. Now I know that there's plenty of stuff to do uh, with the front end. It all costs a lot of money. If I want to get upgraded bumpers, I'd love to get the LS or I'm sorry, the LS 600H headlights at some point. But for now, I can't say it's my favorite front end. Don't get me wrong, it looks incredible. It really does look nice. It fits the car, especially for what it was built to be. And this is why I know it's going to be controversial. But personally can't say I'm the biggest fan of the front end. Also, I'm fully aware that more than just LS owners have this problem, but the headlights are always, always fogged. I clean these almost every single time I wash my car, and well, it just keeps coming back. So if any of you know any ways of keeping them clean and clear, I was thinking about maybe putting like some sort of clear bra over it, seeing if that would help. Um, I don't really know, but uh, that's always been a problem for me. Honestly, I don't see any point in leaving this spot. This is such a cool spot, and it is perfect for the last and final thing I don't like about my LS. Now, honestly, like I said at the beginning of the video, it was so hard for me to think of things I don't like about this car, just because it's such... <coughs> Oh my gosh, excuse me. Just because it's such a good car, there's really hardly anything that I could find outside of just really nitpicky things. But with that being said, let's move on to the fifth and final reason I do not like my LS, and that is going to involve us turning it into accessory mode. And now if I wanted to play music, I cannot without having 
an aux cord. And now, I know that's not like the end of the world, but I really wish this car had Bluetooth. Now, this car does have Bluetooth for phone calls only. I can call people and I can talk to them through this uh, voice thing right here. As soon as the call is over, like, my music will not connect unless if my phone is plugged in through the aux. And that results in me having to have this aux cord sitting out here the whole time. Uh, I have to keep my, my phone plugged in. Again, I know this is like just, you know, stupid things, but that's honestly something I really wish this car had. Now, I do know and I am aware of the head unit change that you can put in here. It's like a massive tablet, like a big Tesla screen. I really don't like that look. I genuinely like this, uh, this design. It fits the car very nice, but, um, you know, is what it is, so I have to have to rock the old aux cord. So that is going to wrap it up on things that I do not, or the five things I don't like about my LS460. Like I said, this was such a hard video to make, and I know that you other LS460 owners out there would probably agree. Like, there's there's practically nothing wrong with this car. There's It's, it's impossible to find something genuinely to dislike about this car. But at this point, I really sound like a broken record saying that over and over and over again. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you agreed with me and you notice your LS460 is having the same problems, definitely let me know. Or if you think there's anything I missed, leave it down in the comments below. Because I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this car. And I know it's mostly going to be positive comments. I'm always interested to hear what you guys have come across in the past. I got to get out of here before it starts dumping rain on me here. It's supposed to rain for the next three days. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you in the next car adventure. Peace. Oh,